Market Leaders, where we talk with capital markets innovators shaping the future of their industries. I'm Allie, and today we're joined by Ilan Hadar, Chairman and CEO of Selexian Therapeutics. Selexian is a biotech company tackling some of the most challenging cancers out there. The company recently announced some exciting new preclinical results for their latest treatment, SIL-204. The company has seen some serious trading activity in the past week or so, becoming one of the most traded U.S. stocks on several days this past week in terms of share volume. Today, we'll talk with Elon about the company's news, their vision, and their latest capital raise. Elon, it's great to have you here. Welcome to the Market Leaders Show. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here, and uh, good morning, uh, good evening to our listeners and viewers. Before we get into the latest data, can you tell us a little about Selexion and the technology you're working on? At Selexion, we focus on developing treatments for aggressive and difficult to treat cancers. One of the main culprits we target is the KRAS gene. KRAS mutations are some of the most common drivers of cancer, found in pancreatic, lung, and colorectal cancers. These mutations keep tumor growth switch on, making them a major challenge for traditional therapies. Our goal is to extend the lives of patients with such terrible diseases and improve their quality of life. Our approach uses RNAi to silence these genes at their source, essentially stopping the cancer from growing. It is a cutting edge method that we believe can change the landscape for these tough to treat cancers. Let's talk about your latest preclinical data. Can you explain the results you've just shared and its significance? Certainly. Our latest preclinical studies further validated that SIL-204 significantly reduces tumor growth in pancreatic cancer in vivo mice and models. The exciting part of this validation is that this latest data is based on our new systemic administration approach, where the treatment is delivered through the bloodstream. This means SIL-204 can reach tumor throughout the body, not just in one specific location. It is a major step forward in developing treatments for cancers that are advanced or have spread. As we reported, we are now exploring whether or not this could also assist with targeting metastatic tumors. I understand you also had another major announcement earlier this month relating to how SIL-204 can work together with other cancer treatments. Can you tell us a bit about that? Of course. This month, we shared preclinical data showing that SIL-204 works in synergy with some of the most common chemotherapies for pancreatic cancer. From the latest studies done, we know today that chemotherapy for pancreatic cancer patients do not increase life expectancy substantially. In our vivo model, the combination of SIL-204 with these treatments showed even better results than chemotherapy alone, which suggests SIL-204 can enhance the effectiveness of, of existing cancer therapies. Together with the systemic administration findings we just announced, this builds a strong foundation for our next steps in development. Selexian has been getting a lot of attention recently, ranking among the top three most traded stocks on certain days this past week in terms of share volume. According to NASDAQ data, Selexian saw a trading volume of 200 to 400 million shares for two consecutive days, even as broader U.S. markets experienced some turmoil. At the same time, you've also successfully raised capital, which is no small feat in this challenging market. Can you tell us about these fundraising efforts and what they mean for the company? Yeah, you're absolutely correct. Uh, raising capital in today's market is never easy. But I think these uh, successful capital raises are a signal of the confidence investors have in Selexion and our future. Developing innovative cancer treatments is not a cheap vision, but it's also a crucial and impactful one that has the potential to change lives. I think our story, vision, and science is resonating with the market. And I think investors recognize both the scientific progress we have made and the immense market potential of the effective RNAi-based treatment for KRAS-driven cancer. Your most recent raise was structured as a warrant exercise, which is different from a typical public offering. Can you explain why this structure was beneficial for Selexian and its shareholders? Yes, our latest raise brought in 3.3 million in gross proceeds through a warrant exercise, which is a much more shareholders-friendly approach compared to issuing new shares at a discount. Investors exercised their existing warrants early. In return, we issued new warrants at the highest strike price, and longer uh, period for the warrant, ensuring that if exercised, they bring in additional capital, capital or even better terms for the company. Elan, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing these exciting developments from Selexian Therapeutics. Selexian trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker SLXN. 
We'll be keeping a close eye on the company's progress as it continues to advance its pipeline and deliver innovation in cancer treatment. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to be here. 